A key feature that caught our attention as we used the Umarex hammer on multiple outings was that it only took about two pounds of effort to operate its straight pull bolt, cock the rifle, and advance the two-shot magazine. We put that magazine in bolt action to the test on the Psycho Hunt recently, where Michael Wersig had to think fast to put the animal on the ground. We're going out and it's just an opportunity hunt. Whatever walks out that's gonna, you know, either give us meat or just make a good hunt, that's what we're going for. I look over and I can see this dark thing coming. So I really and truly thought it was like a calf or something coming through because there's cows on the property and it ended up being a psyche. So he comes in, we watch him for a little bit and we decide that we're going to go for a psyche. I ain't going to shoot him. I mean, I could. How is that if he comes in and shoot him? Does he want me to shoot him? He said, go ahead and shoot him. Okay. I'm good when you are. Okay. I pull the trigger on him and he jumps like I hit him good and then goes behind a bush and stops and just stands there. His back legs are buckling a little bit. You don't have a clean shot to that brush, do you? No, I don't. Let's see what he does. He doesn't want to go anywhere. Now, I know I felt perfectly fine with my trigger pull. I know where I was when I pulled. So. Whenever he's standing behind this bush and not going down, I'm thinking something's wrong. It does finally dawn on me that I'm hunting with a projectile that shoots, it's going about 700 feet a second. I probably didn't range him right. He's in between bushes about that, that far. And he can turn around and walk straight away from me and I'm not gonna get another shot. He stops just before I can shoot his vitals. I could see his neck, but I couldn't see, see anything else. I tell Kevin whenever he takes another step, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him again. He runs straight out into the field right in front of us. He probably goes 50, 60 yards before he just falls flat on his side. And it's just a lesson in learning about hunting with an air rifle. I got intense for a little bit. That was pretty fun. You know, I said we were coming out this morning for a meat hunt. Psychers are good meat and they've been racking up uh, a hefty bill on the feed bill, so when he walked out, I thought, well, that's a lot more meat, so we'll take him. <sighs> they don't get much credit down here in Texas. I mean, they're, they're a beautiful animal, but since they don't grow a huge rack, I don't think many people go after them. But I'm excited to go down there and see what, see what he looks like. I'm glad we got him. Well, that was a good morning. Oh, I didn't even notice he's got the spots. See that? That's cool. Oh. Oh, man. Rolling in mud. That was a good morning. You know, you can tell that these things are dominant whenever it comes to anything because there's whitetail out here and they all looked up, saw him come in. I thought he was a cow when he was coming down the road, just this dark animal coming in. But see, and look, here's, here's what happened. The first shot, I misranged him. I'm using this thing, it's shooting, I think seven or 800 feet a second. I didn't take that into consideration. He's a little further than I zeroed in on. Hit here, the first shot. The second shot, I raised up on him and made a great shot. When you hunt with the new platform, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta learn all the ins and outs. And I made a small mistake this morning by not knowing my range perfectly. And luckily I got a second shot on him and it didn't take long, but God, that was a good morning.
Well, there's nothing like real-world application to prove how efficient this hunting platform is, and the Umarex Hammer did just that against this Saika.